Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this shape text popping animation in After Effects. Now it is very easy to create and at the same time it looks very beautiful. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. First let's create our background, so right click new, let's add a solid. Just make it of whatever color you want. Let's make it a little bit of white. Just click on OK. Now we are ready to add our text. So select the text tool. Just click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion and let's just select this and we can change its color to red for now. Let's align it in the middle of this comb. Let's select this and we can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool so that the anchor point is in the center. Now we have our text. We also need little bit of spacing between these. So for that we can add a little bit of tracking. Go to animate and let's add tracking. Now we can set this amount to like 4 if you want to have like more spacing between the characters then you can increase it but for this example I'm going to like stick to 4 or maybe 5. Once you're done with this we are ready to create our shapes so for that we can select the shape tool and under this we are going to use the polygon tool not any other because we can easily change the number of points to generate different shapes. So first I'm going to quickly zoom in and let's just click and hold on the shift key and drag to create this shape. Now let's align it in the middle of this comp. Now we can select this and just place it where we have our first character M. Now we are going to animate this first. So for that let's select this. We are going to animate it by using the position property. Let's add a keyframe for position. Also let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So hold on the control key, double click on this. Now it's in the center. Now in the beginning we want it to be over here. Let's move a little bit ahead somewhere around here. Now we want this to move up but we want it to have like little bit of anticipation. So we can move it down below so that it's it feels like that it is storing energy and after that we can move somewhere around here to like make it go up to this point so that it looks something like that. Now we can select these keyframes and let's just play with the easing so press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. If a graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph. So we are going to change our curve so we want it to start like really quick so let's make it to look like that so that it will go so that it will have this very quick motion and over here as well let's change the curve to look like that now we have this very beautiful animation and at this point we want our character to pop up so for that let's select this and let's duplicate this we are going to type our first letter which is M and let's just select this quickly change its color let's make it dark Make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So hold on control key, double click on that. Now we are ready to animate this as well. First let's align it to our final position. Now we can press P. Let's add a keyframe. This is going to be a final position so we can move it like a little bit away. And somewhere around here we can like make it to come from that. So we want a hard cut so we can select this layer. Hold on the control shift D to split this. And let's delete the top part. Now what will happen is if I press play, you can see our text will change this change to this letter and after that it will come back now we don't want it to stop over here we actually want it to have little bit of bouncing animation and for that we are going to use an expression so you can just go to this website motionscripts.com i will put a link in the description and from here you can just scroll down till you have this keyframe bounce back expression so just select this and right click copy now we can go back to our window and hold on the alt key and click on this position stopwatch then just simply paste it now we can select this first keyframe press f9 make sure to select only this first keyframe and this should be linear let's go to the graph editor and we can change it to look like that now if i press play you can see at the end we have this very nice bouncing motion if you want to increase this then you can move these keyframes closer which will add a little bit of more bounce but for this example i'm going to like stick it to somewhere around here Perfect. Now once you're happy with your text, we can duplicate it to create more text as well. But first let's do one more thing. We don't want it to like appear as it is. So let's add a scaling animation. Let's move like a couple of frames ahead. And we can set this to zero. So that it won't appear like that. And we have this popping up motion. We can select these keyframes, press F9. And let's change the graph to look like that. So it creates this very subtle pop at the top. So we are done with the animation of first letter and we can just reuse this to create all the other elements as well. So let's select them and press Ctrl D. Let's move this to the top. Now we can create a null object. So right click new, let's add a null object. Now we can select these two layers and just parent them to this null. Now we can select the null and we can move it to the next location. But first let's change the letter to O. 
so just select this null and using the arrow keys you can just move it to the next location which is over here now you can see our whole animation is already applied we don't have to do anything once you have moved them we can select them and just set them to none so that they are not parented now we can select them press ctrl d and just repeat this step so let's change the letter again let's parent them to this now we can move this little bit to the side we have our t now let's select them and we can unparent them again press ctrl d move this to the top change the letter then again parent them and align them to the next character there you go now i have added all of these characters now we can get rid of our null object so just delete this now if i press play we have all of these characters nicely aligned now our next step is to change their shapes so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just select all of these shape layers then just simply search for point and over here we have all of these point positions so if i go to this beginning now number of point defines what kind of shape it is so for example we have this five so it's looked like a pentagon if i set this to like three so you can see it will become a triangle we can set this one to let's keep it to this pentagon let's set this one to if i increase it a lot you can see it will become a circle let's set this and change this to four so that we have this square or diamond let's set this to six so that we have this hexagon and at last we can just set this to four but this time we can press r and let's just rotate it to 45 degrees so that we have this square as well there you go now we have changed all of these letters our next step is to just to offset them so offset is also quite easy let's select all of them and let's just zoom in what we are going to do is i'm going to hold on the shift key and just click on to this now let's move these keyframes like layers two frames apart hold on the shift key click on this so that it will unselect these two and just repeat this step till you have like offset it all of these layers let's move it over here and at last we can select last two layers and just move them over here now we want these shapes to be visible in the beginning so we can select the top layer and just select the label group because all of these layers are in the same color now we can just move it to the very beginning there you go now at last if i zoom out and press play you can see we have this very nice bouncing animation all of these shapes pop up into these characters so in this way you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that you don't have to recreate each and everything you just animate it once and then you can duplicate it and replace their positions using the null object so this is how you can create these kind of creative animations now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one